Hey guys, Steve Watch here, Beeman Toyota again. I wanted to do an update here on Toyota Safety Sense. Now, I've done a few um, videos on Safety Sense and, and about what it is, and uh, a lot of my videos kind of incorporate it. Um, I wanted to give a little bit of special attention to Safety Sense itself, um, what it is, how to use it, and uh, also that it's now on most vehicles in Safety Sense 2.0, um, which is actually the third generation of Safety Sense. So. Um, kind of given a, a little overview of it um initially when safety sense came out you had safety sense c which was on your compact vehicles like a prius c um your small vehicles then you had safety sense p um safety sense p was uh with the pedestrian detection um and it was the first uh real full integration of all of the safety sense systems which i'm gonna go, gonna go over here in just a second uh 2.0 which now all of your pretty much all your 2020s have um added a few extra things to it so um, what I'm looking at here, this is a RAV4, but it's going to be on your Highlander, your RAV4, your Corolla, um, your 400s, Tundras, Tacomas, um, and, and they're mostly the same except for the trucks, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, kind of go over what the trucks have on them too, so um, those are a little bit different, but um, what you'll notice is you have your emblem here. Your emblem behind here, you have a millimeter wave radar. Um, that's doing some things, so um, I'll, I'll go over that here too. And then you have right in the very center there, you have a camera. Um, those two things are going in conjunction to make sure your safety sense is working properly. So um, I'm gonna kind of get in the car here and I'm gonna show you. Now, Toyota's done a really good thing and they have um, made most of the steering wheels now look pretty much the same. So um, there's a few variations to that, but uh, for, um, just kind of uh, all intents and purposes, we're going to kind of tell you they're, they're the same here for uh, argument's sake. So go ahead and argue with me on it, but um, they're, they're close. Let's just say that. So um, that being said, you have, uh, if you look at your main screen here, you can kind of see that, uh, um, or actually let's start down here. Um, what I'm going to show you is this is where all your cruise control is. Part of your safety sense is your dynamic radar cruise control. All right, in order to turn on your cruise control, you hit this right here, and I'll turn it off and back on. You're gonna see how that green light comes up. It says radar cruise active, please pay attention. Um, this right here is gonna take your distance. So what the radar cruise does, and you can see how I'm changing the distance there. By the way, that's about six car lengths, give or take. Uh, that's about four and a half, that's about three car lengths. Uh, like I said, give or take um, for uh, your uh, distance you're gonna follow the car. What it does is say you're going 70 and the car in front of you is going 60 It's gonna slow you down to pace that car and now let now it's gonna leave a little bit of distance between you It's obviously it's a safety equipment. It's going to do the safer thing um, Now if somebody cuts you off. It's gonna also hit your brakes, which is really cool that it hits your brakes for you You no longer have to work so hard to have cruise control, which is really cool All right, so that is the cruise control now when you pair it with the lane departure so you can see i'm turning the lane departure on and it says lta which that doesn't mean lane departure that means lane tracing alert there or, or lane tracing assistance sorry um now there's uh, two different types of lane departure systems on the same car now if you don't have your cruise control engaged it's a lane departure system it will beep at you and it will slightly tap your steering wheel if you were to you know kind of inattentively go over a line lightly tap your steering wheel put you back in your lane right if you have your cruise control on it turns into the lane tracing so while you have the dynamic cruise control on it turns into the lane tracing so it will actually help to try to center you in your lane if you don't want that you can shut that off of course and you know kind of turn it back on however you want it that to work now i will show you this so the great thing about safety sense is you can shut every part of it off if you want to if you want to shut off the dynamic when you're turning it on so you make sure it's off up here when you're turning it on you press and hold this button and you'll see that little car go away now you're back to the old style cruise control where it's just going to hold it you've got to shut it off you've got to do everything if you're more comfortable that way you can do that once you shut it off turn it back on it's going to revert back to radar cruise so it's going to revert to the safest option all right so that's your your cruise control so now your next option is going to be your um your, your next option is going to be your pre-collision system um, with pedestrian detection now the 2.0 system is different because now you have low light so in the old system it would have a problem if you were just looking at headlights that sometimes it might have an issue seeing something 
Um, you're meant to see something that is three feet tall or higher, so a little rock isn't going to cause your, your pre-collision system to turn on or something like that. You're looking for something three feet or taller. Anywhere between seven miles an hour and 50 miles an hour, if it sees something biological, so a person walk in front of the car, it's going to hit your brakes for you. It will alert you in the center screen. It'll say brake, and it'll go beep, 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 beep. It'll say brake in red, and it will alert you that you need to brake. Um, you don't do anything, car's going to do it. It's, you know, it's going to give you time, a little bit of time, and it's going to do it. Anywhere between 7 miles an hour and 100 miles an hour, it will judge your closing distance with that wave radar and that camera I showed you to see how fast you're closing to the car ahead of you. So uh, I've had people ask, well, if I'm tailgating somebody, don't tailgate, by the way, but if I'm tailgating somebody, is the pre-collision system going to engage? The answer is no, it will not engage. It watches for closing distance, not for how close you are to the car. Now, if you're tailgating somebody, the chance that that system's gonna avoid a wreck realistically is zero. You have to give it a little bit of room to where it's gonna be able to avoid that wreck uh, or at least mitigate that collision. You, There's no way to mitigate a collision when you're three feet from the person in front of you. So definitely try to drive a little bit safer. You can, you can uh, uh, be a little bit better that way. Um, so yeah, so those two things come into play. Now, if you wanna shut this system off, which I don't suggest doing, you can kinda of see what I'm doing over here. I'm coming to this side. You go over to your settings and you can see lane tracing pre-collision system is right here. If you shut this off, you're gonna get an icon. They don't want that system off. That system is not gonna get in your way. So you should just keep that system on. Um, just, it, you're not gonna notice it until it saves you and it has saved me and my wife so i'm going to tell you that system does work so uh, we would have been in a collision that probably would have been pretty bad had it not turned in so um, and it stopped us with about three feet remaining so it was uh, and we went from highway speeds to a stop so i can tell you it has worked for us um, this is rear cross traffic alert blind sight monitor that's not part of safety system so or, or the safety sense so i'm not going through that this part is part of 2.0 only, which is your road sign assist. What that does is it's gonna look for certain road signs. It will see do not enter, stop, yield, and your speed limit signs, and it will put it somewhere in this screen, depending on which vehicle you have, it'll be somewhere in that screen. Um, so it, you know, it, and it's not a GPS thing, so it doesn't sense where you're at and go, oh, the speed limit's probably 55. It watches for the road sign with that same camera that I showed you that's up, up on the windshield here on that same camera. So it watches for the road sign. Once it sees that road sign, it will actually put it on your dash. So um, if you know, there's no more questions, hey, what's the speed limit here? Your car probably saw the sign when you didn't. So realize that that's, that's there. So um, you can look at that. Now, back to what I was talking about with the truck. So your uh, Tundra, your Tacoma, uh, your Forerunner, um, any of the ones that have the rack system as opposed to electronic steering. That assist that I told you about for the lane departure, and I wanted to get back to this because I told you I would, where I told you it bumps your steering wheel, in the trucks it will not do that. So um, the steering system doesn't allow it to do that. So um, it will give you your alert and let you know that it's, you know, beep, 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 that you're, you know, you're crossing the lane, but it will not bump the steering wheel back. So you have to do that on your own, but that alert is definitely effective. So. Um, you definitely want to know that uh, that that's there. So, um, so kind of you know just just going back over all the parts of your your oh there's one other part that I've uh, that I've neglected to tell you. Now some of the vehicles will have automatic headlights. This particular one, this is an LE Rav4. This is the most base level Rav4. It doesn't have the automatic headlights, but it's still going to kind of work the same way. So you turn your headlights on normally. You're going to get this uh, this green light right here that shows your headlights are on. If you turn on your bright lights, you get the blue light it shows that your your uh, bright lights are on. Now what you're going to see is over on this one, it's on the dash here. Some of them have them in different spots. If you turn this on, you're going to get to activate uh, automatic high beam, switch headlight to high beam. So you switch your headlights to high beam and now you're going to get a new symbol that is right here. So auto high beams. So your headlights will go from high beam to low beam and what it watches for that same camera that I was telling you about is watching your lines and, and uh, you know watching for cars ahead of you and stuff like that. Those that same one that's watching that is watching for brake lights or headlights. If it sees either the brake lights or headlights it's going to dim your lights to low beam. If it sees nothing and it's a black, you know, there's there's nothing going on, then it's going to have your lights on high beam, so you don't have to worry about toggling back and forth your your headlights. 
Some people don't like that. They want to do it themselves. Well, great. You can shut it off. Just like I said, with all the other parts of safety system, you shut it off. It goes, now you're on high beams because I push, push this forward. So as you go back to auto, it's going to tell you you're back on auto. Now, when you're on high beams, you'll still have that, that blue light show up, but you'll still have the auto. So it will tell you you're getting on and off high beams as you're doing that. So quick refresher, your safety sense 2.0 system will have your lane departure, um, with steering assist and lane tracing, uh, like I said, unless it's on the truck, then it's not going to give you your tracing or your um, your your bump on your steering wheel. Um, your dynamic radar cruise control, that's on all of them, um, with your setting for how close and how far you get, um, with the ability to shut it off as well. Your pre-collision system with pedestrian detection and low light detection, um, that's on all of them as well. And um, your automatic high beams. So um, I believe I've gone... Yeah, I've done, oh, and your road sign uh, detection. So that gives you all of your uh, safety sense and how to turn them on, how to turn them off if you want to. Um, like I said, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I definitely suggest it. It is highly safe, it is highly effective. Um, I have not heard of any issues with it. Um, I'm sure with anything that's electronic or computerized, there could be, but I have not heard of issues with it. And I've actually heard of it being uh, more effective than even Toyota. Um, tells you it's going to be so um, like I said keep keep in mind most of the safety systems on the TSSP um, are meant to help you meant to uh, keep you more attentive um, they're they're not meant to drive the car um, they are not meant to replace a safe driver so don't uh, don't uh, let it replace a safe driver so um, definitely Toyota Safety Sense P this is Steve Welch Bima Toyota um, hope this has helped you out um, to know this Toyota Safety Sense P, or sorry, the Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 um, system. So, um, and in case you're wondering, the P, what it doesn't have, it does not have the roadside uh, detection. That's one of the things, and it does not have lane tracing alerts. So that's the difference between P and 2.0. Um, so if you're looking at a 17 Highlander and it says, I got, you know, Toyota Safety Sense P, that's the difference. It won't have those two options. So, um, those are all on Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So once again, Steve Watch me with Toyota. Hope this has helped you out. Um, definitely give, uh, you know, if you're looking in the Nashville area and looking for a vehicle, definitely look me up. I'm here at Beeman Toyota. I'm here a lot. Um, Steve Watch me with Toyota. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, look forward to talking to you soon.